What's up guys, ladies, gentlemen, children of all ages, Daddy here with another gameplay. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I'd like to go ahead and start off by saying that I have found a new gun that I really, really enjoy in Battlefield 1. That gun would have to be the Mondragon Sniper 1, or Sniper, I about said Sniper 1, because that's my game, that's my PlayStation name. Uh, it's a really good sniper rifle. I know that in my last video, I'm pretty sure I said that I don't like using sniper rifles. However, it's a pretty good sniper rifle. And it's not really a sniper rifle for the fact that you could just spam fire and you're also a medic, obviously. Um, with that being said, I also figured out a tactic that I think is really, really useful. So uh, you might want to put this in your bag of tricks. I recommended in my last video to run with gas grenades. Well, on top of that, if you know that there's like enemies a little further than what you are, especially if you're using a sniper rifle, chunk the gas grenade at them. Keep yourself at a distance. They won't be able to aim down sight because they'll have to put that mask on, allowing you to pretty much turn the tables completely in your favor, almost guaranteeing you the win over that gunfight because they won't be able to actually aim down sight to put the shots on target where they would like as opposed to you when you're putting bullets down range, you're able to aim down sight and go for the headshot or pick them off as, as needed. Again, this is only if you are not exposing yourself to the gas grenade. So make sure whenever you chunk it, it's in a group of people or it's at least at the person that it's far enough away for you to aim down sight where you're not affected by the gas. Moving on to the next topic, and this is for people who are in the U.S., in case anyone's watching this from not in the U.S., and over the age of 18 or 18 and older. Uh, today, if you're watching it, it's going to be November 8th, so make sure you're getting out and voting. A lot of people don't want to think that it, it does any good or whatever. That aside, I'm not even going to express where I fall at politically because it may not agree with you and, and you have a right to your own opinion. However, that's the particular reason why you need to vote. You have the right. You need to exercise that right. In today's society, in today's government, especially in the U.S., we find ourselves losing rights little by little, and the fact that we're actually able to vote for whoever we want as a uh, president or as quote-unquote our leader is something that a lot of other countries don't get to actually vote for, and we have a democracy. So we need to make sure that we're always voting, because you're not just voting for a president. If you don't think your vote counts, it's fine. You have a right to think that. However, your vote definitely does count on local levels, and you also, you are, if you really know what you're talking about, you're voting for your electoral college as well. And that's the one that's going to help get the voting that you want. If you don't like your electoral college, don't vote for them. Make sure you get out there and vote for someone else. And that's going to like the, make the vote sway in the way that you need it to. So again, please get out and vote. Exercise your right. Because not other places actually have the same rights that we do. So we need to protect them. And we protect them is by exercising your voice. If you do decide not to get out there and vote, then in my personal opinion, and I'm obviously entitled to my opinion just like you are, you don't have the right to complain. If you don't vote, then how can you say anything bad or even good about what's going on? Because you didn't go out there and exercise your opinion, or at least your, your, your right to vote. If you vote, you can at least say, yeah, this person's doing what I wanted, and I'm glad they got in office, assuming you voted for that person. Or, I voted for this person, and they're doing nothing that I wanted them to do, or what they said they would do. Or, I voted, and the person I wanted to win didn't win, so I get to talk about the person that's in right now. Either way, you get to express your voice, because you went out and vote. So, I'm done with that rant. Make sure you go out and vote, and have a great day.